Hi YouTubers, today I'm going to show you um, my shoe boxes for Operation Christmas Child, uh, the things that I've packed in. I'm going to do one, uh, I'm going to do the girl age 10 to 40, maybe give you some ideas of things to put in there. Uh, Oper Operation Christmas Child's run by Samaritan's Purse, it's like a religious organisation. I'm not really into the religious side of things, but if you are that's great, each to their own. I just do this because I think it's nice to make a kid smile and get them excited. So it's a box I'm going to show you. I've used the plastic containers, plastic shoe boxes. Just think they're a bit more sturdy, keeps your items inside a bit more safe, so they don't get bashed maybe. And the kids can reuse these boxes again. I mean, some of these kids have got absolutely nothing. They haven't even got a toothbrush. So. You should get pretty excited getting a, a box full of gifts, loads of goodies inside. So these labels you can print off on the website, um, Operation Christmas Child, go on the website there and um, you print the labels off, put an X in the box of the age group that you want and also you can print off a barcode uh, for £3, you pay your £3 over the internet, you get a print off a barcode, you can put the barcode inside the box and then later on in the year you get an email saying where about your box has gone to. So let's get cracking and I'll show you what's inside. I always put a, a little letter in um, just because it's nice that uh, the kids will know, uh, know a little bit about me and I've a picture of what I look like and things so that's nice so the first item is a long sleeved top I know most kids don't like clothes they like toys but these kids have got nothing so I've got age 12 to 13 um, I'm not sure how much roughly I've, I've spent on each box I just get things throughout the year in the sales mainly January sales after Christmas all the toys go down in price and then I just put them away. So there's a top, a little flowery bubble for the hair, some more bubbles or bracelets, whatever you want to use them for. And also on the website, it gives you a list of items to put in um, each category. So one category they recommend a soft toy so they can embrace it and cuddle it. So I've got uh, this little girl, I think it's a cat, blue and green cat, big eyes. Um, some more hair clips, good three pink butterflies. Toothbrush. I put this together, it's um, a little heart shaped box that you can keep some items in, like a little ring. Now I take most things out of the packaging, uh, things that you get, they're in big bulky packaging and you won't get half of the items in the box so I just break down the boxes and put them in, as long as they're all new and these, most of them have got all the tags and things on. So I've just put necklaces in, bracelets, one of these uh, necklaces, two necklaces, half each, one's half best, the other half's friends, best friends, so she can give a friend the other half few little bits in there. Pencil case. School supplies are very important. So there's just calculator, pens, pencil sharpener. Don't forget your pencil sharpener if you're putting pencils in. Kids need to be able to sharpen them. Ruler, things like that. Everything you need for school in a little doggy pencil case. Uh, some more pencils. A rubber, a little puzzle rubber as well. Um, also, I've put this in. It's an inflatable ball, but it's the globe. So you can learn a bit of geography there if you want to. Um, a drinks bottle. But to make use of the room in the drinks bottle, put a tube of toothpaste, some sweets, a little nail kit nail clippers i'm not sure about them whether they're allowed to go or not but if they're not they get taken out if they're not appropriate but we'll just put them in and see in case and hopefully they'll be allowed 
if you've got nothing, no things like this. A flannel to have a wash. Also a little wash bag to put the toothbrush, toothpaste, flannels, things like that. Bar to soap. I always put the pairs soap in all the shoe boxes because I use that, it's my favourite. Nail brush. Sweets, a lollipop. What kid doesn't like sweets? Especially a big lollipop. Some double dips. Some more school supplies. Coloured pencils. Some felt tip pens. A colouring book. Now, this colouring book, I've gone for a little bit of an older one because she's 10 to 14, this little girl, so the pictures aren't so babyish in case it does go to a, a girl that is 14. A lip balm. Jelly Belly lip balm. A little bit of craft items for her to do. Make your own monkey. It has all the things in there. It's got a plastic needle, so um, some body art tattoos, a nail file. Um, I've got some Disney things, Eeyore, key ring. She can attach that to the end of a pencil case or a bag or whatever. A little badge, Eeyore badge with a Christmas hat on. And in this giant pencil case, I got this because I thought it was good to keep all the uh, notepads and things in. I've got some little gem stickers. Uh, My Little Pony stickers set. A5 notebook. So you can do lots of writing in there, there's two in there. And a, another larger, I think that, that might be a plain notepad. And some more pens. So that's my box. Now I've got to get this all back in, that's the hard part. So get doing it guys, I think it's a, a great charity to do. And let me know what you think.